It started back in 1932, wow. and 88 years later, it's still going strong. The Punahou Carnival is this Friday and Saturday. Our Kamaka Pili is there. Kamaka, what can we expect this year? Bridget, there is so much things. Of course, Punahou Carnival, we all know, is a day or days packed of so much fun here at Punahou School. And this year, for the 88th annual, there's not going to be anything different. To find out more about this, we, of course, it's the junior class who hosts this. So we're able to snag some juniors with us. We have Kylie and Mari. Thank you very much for joining us. Kylie, I'll start with you. Tell us a little bit about, about the history of Punahou Carnival. Sure. Punahou Carnival started in 1932, and it originally was a fundraiser for the Oahuan yearbook. They had everything from bathtub races to pie-eating contests, but since then it's evolved, and now all of the proceeds go towards supporting our need-based financial aid program here at Punahou School. Bathtub races. My gosh, <laughs> that, I wish we had that nowadays. Tell us a little bit. I know, so you started here as a seventh grader, but you've been coming to the Punahou Carnival for years prior to that. How have you seen this carnival grow? And now that you guys are hosting it, what do you think is going to be, you guys are going to add to the flair this year? Well, I've been coming here since I was in kindergarten, and every year I've always had a blast. But since I've gotten older, I started working, and I realized how much hard work and dedication goes into making Carnival a success each year. And it's so rewarding to see everybody have such an amazing time. Right on. You seem so excited, which makes <laughs> me even more excited to come down and check it out. Now, Mara, we'll go to you. What is the theme that you guys put together for this year's Carnival? So this year our theme is um, Music Through the Ages, a chart-topping carnival, and every year the junior class comes up with a theme and we all vote for a theme. So there was like some crazy ideas such as space or Jurassic Park, but we all decided on Music Through the Ages because you know our class all loves music and we just want to share our music taste with everyone in the community. How are you going to be implementing that theme within the things throughout the carnival? And of course, the number one thing everybody wants to know every year is what's new this year that they never found any of the years prior. So this year, the publicity team actually um, put on a scavenger hunt for Punahou Carnival. And each booth has a clue, which is actually a song lyric. So, you know, it kind of goes along with the theme. Um, but yeah, and the, the prize for the scavenger hunt is actually a Punahou Carnival Day Pass, which allows the uh, participant to cut in line um, in any Punahou sponsored food booth. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I need, how do I get one of those? I need one of those. <laughs> Now, thank you very much, ladies. I do want to touch upon one thing real fast. We're here in your cafeteria, and there's so much people here. What are you guys doing here this evening? Um, this evening, we're actually making all of the hakules, like the ones we are wearing. And yeah, you can find more about that later. Right on. Well, thank you very much, ladies. Now, again, this is all for the preparation. Big Punahou, Punahou Carnival kicks off this Friday, leads into Saturday, and the hours are so easy to remember, 11 to 11. So you have 12 hours of full fun for both of those days. Make sure you go to punahou.edu slash carnival for all the information again like the ladies were saying there's a lot of activities going on this evening continuing to prepare for the Punahou Carnival as we come back in about 20 minutes or so we'll be speaking with more juniors to find out exactly what they're putting forth in this carnival and what all these people are here this evening for until then Kamakopi with K2N2 News working for Hawaii were so great. How proud are you, you guys? I'm very she was proud. So Both proud of them of represented like, when they so were like well. talking. I could see <laughs> she was like beaming. They represented Punahou oh my very gosh, well. Such great eloquent speakers. I do want to say this is my first Punahou Carnival since I was a student or as an alumni. So I'm very uh -huh. excited to relive all of it again. I know. I can't <laughs> wait to get some Malasada. Like being a kid again.